Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Civilization V, playing as Hector of House Ostia. So, a lot of shit has happened. Uh, we just finished uh, a minor skirmish with Ryoma, and now we are actually going to set our sights on Robin, who is currently busy conquering Grado. He's sending a bunch of units up. He's taken Paisel. And uh, Robin is definitely one of the biggest threats. We are actually at war with Leon, but Leon isn't doing much. Uh, in fact, Leon seems to be mostly busy getting his ass kicked by Robin. So Leon isn't really our enemy right now. Robin is. So, yeah, we are definitely preparing for that. Uh, in fact, I am going to move my... Uh, I think I'm going to move my artillery into Castle Ostia to level it up. Maybe leave a rifleman here at the fort just to watch out for it. Because, you know... I tend to get attacked by Ryoma when I'm looking the other way, because he's a big doofus like that. But yeah, if we can attack, like, I think our focus will be sub... sub... La, sub... La, whatever... sub... La lul? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Uh, and then, if we can take Tysel, and the, I think the Longfort would be a really nice city to keep, because it's a coastal city, which we actually kind of need. Because we don't have a single coastal city, it would be nice to get some boats out to explore the ocean. Our economy is finally in good shape. It's been bad, like, the entire game, uh, but it's finally looking up right now. Our happiness is still so-and-so. We're getting 20 unhappiness from a public opinion, so we're getting a lot of, uh, minuses. What the hell? Oh, my scout just got killed. Okay. <laughs> that was random. And barbarian encampments keep popping up over here, uh, which is really fucking pissing me off. Luckily, it's just an archer, so we can qu quickly clear it off. But, because we don't, like, if you don't know, barbarians tend to spawn where you don't have line of sight. So they'll always spawn in the fog. So, because I'm not, um... Because I don't have vision there, that's why barbarian encampments tend to pop up all the time. Uh, so yeah, we are just, uh... Well, we're, we're building up some caravans, and after that, I think it's probably time... Oh wait, what? Neuschwestein is... What? Okay, that is... Okay, you know what I think I did? I think I was a fucking idiot, and I think that I minimized the- oh my god, I'm such a fucking moron, I can't fucking believe it. <laughs> okay, so last episode, I thought that someone else built Neuschwestein because it just suddenly disappeared, but I think the reality of the situation was that I clicked on the Wonders tab. Oh my god, I'm such a fucking moron. Oh my- if I lose Neuschwestein because of this, I am gonna fucking kill myself. Um... Why do I have unemployed citizens here? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I guess that's the best way to get production. Okay. That's really, really weird. What if I put them into the university right here? Isn't that better? I do think that is better. Guess I should do some manual specialist controls here. Okay, there we go. That's much better. I don't know why the AI sometimes, uh... I don't know why the AI sometimes put, puts unemployed citizens, but it likes doing that for whatever reason. We're actually focusing on gold in this city, but I don't think that's particularly useful. I think I'm actually gonna focus it on food instead. Grow it a little bit. Uh, there we go. Produ ah, we can keep the city on. Actually, we should keep the city on production focus because we don't want it. We don't want our cities to grow any anymore right now because we don't have the happiness to sustain it. But yeah, I don't know why why we have all, all those unemployed citizens over there. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, not sure if we want to grow Castle Ostia anymore right now. Um, ten turns to grow it. It's not great. I wish it would grow faster. But it won't, because there's not a lot of food around here. Especially considering we replaced one of our farms with a manufactory. I don't think that was a particularly good idea, but yeah. I'm a fucking moron, and I hope I still get the Neuschwestein monster. Shut up, Ryoma. What the fuck is your deal? Blah, blah, blah. I am Ryoma. I'm going to denounce you now. Blah, 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 blah. I hate you. I'm Ryoma. I have fucking bipolar syndrome. Anyway, if Robin does attack, we will meet him with a hail of artillery fire. Do I really want to keep trading with Ryoma? Because he keeps backstabbing me all the time. I guess I have no choice, though, do I? I mean, I'm just going to have to keep rebuilding my my trading post every time I get attacked. It's really frustrating, but that's the only way I can do it. Anyway, uh, we have a military academy right here now, and I think it's... No, you know what? We need a zoo. Because we need, we need all the happiness buildings we can get right now. Oh, what the... Oh! Hi, Volhart! Nice to see you! 
Okay, so Vol Volmart just showed up. Now we gotta send our entire army to meet him. Holy shit, Volmart just showed up. I did not expect him to show up, but you know what? We cannot leave our board. Like, we can probably move this guy away, but we cannot leave Castle undefended. If we do, we are going to get fucked by Robin. Robin is just looking for an opening right now. Okay, so Valhart just showed up, and he's pretty pissed. Uh, we have an Ostian castle here, luckily, but I think what we need to do is we need to we need to buy some units, I think. Holy shit, okay. Um, okay, we can actually buy a Grimlull. Why on earth can we buy a Grimlull? That has to be a bug. Okay, I think I found a bug. Uh, it seems like the Grimlull unit is available to everyone. At least it's available to me for whatever reason. Is it available to me? Because I... No, it can't be. Why on earth? This is supposed to be Grima's unique unit, but I can buy it for Faith for whatever reason. I don't know why. Not that I want to, though, but that's a funny little bug that you might want to take care of, guy who made that civilization. But yeah, I need to buy something. I need to buy oh, 700 gold to get a rifleman. That is so expensive. Not sure if I can afford that. But yeah, I'm going to lose the money, Kadishwine, if I don't get guys here ASAP. That's a cavalry, Gatling guns. Holy shit, that's a lot of units. Well, I'm not sure if it's more. I can see four right now, but I fear that there's going to be more behind them. Mm, actually, it doesn't seem to be that big of an army. It's difficult to tell right now. But yeah, let's get our artillery into position. Let's reinforce the Manikari Shrine. I mean, the Ostian castles makes makes me pretty hard to attack, but they're not invincible. Anyway, we gotta keep building the railroads. More Robin's units are fucking everywhere. It's terrifying. Yeah, and Vol Volmart is also good against cities. It's sort of his thing, you know, being the conqueror and all. God damn it, Robin has a lot of units poking around our border. You know, I don't. I think this railroad project needs to wait. I don't think we can build that right now. Not with Walmart coming here. We want to finish our railroad. But yeah, please give me this. If we put our production focus, we can get an 11 turns. I think that's definitely worth it. Declaration of friendship with Crimea. I never say no to friends in this situation. 58 combat strength. Is it enough without siege equipment? I don't know. It seems. Oh. I don't know. He needs siege equipment if he wants to. Uh, if he wants to get anywhere, ten turns to get an arsenal. Can we buy it? We can buy it for eleven hundred. I think we probably have to. I don't like doing this, but I think we have to. Okay. Then I think we want to build a caravan because our caravan just disappeared for whatever reason. So here's the hoping I won't get fucked in the ass while I'm away. But this is no small army, so we, we have to sort of take it seriously. Uh, okay, uh, this guy can heal up. 67 defense strength should be enough. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, but I'm really surprised Walmart showed up. I did not expect him to come the like, march halfway across the world. My disagreement with Marth has become too much to bear. Yeah, Mikaya, you go and attack Marth, it's fine. You have my full permission. Also, barbarians are back again. Of course, they always show up at the worst possible time. But I can deal with these guys rather easily. Alright, let's set up our artillery to fire. Let's get rid of these guys. Let's get rid of these riflemen. Boom, unit is dead. If this all goes well, should be able to repel that attack pretty quickly. But yeah, look at this. This terrifies me. I might need to build a citadel in my own land if Robin suddenly decides to attack. See, I need I need Neuschwestein. I really need Neuschwestein. Martha's declared war on Ephraim. Interesting. If I can get Neuschwestein, then that's going to be insane. Oh, oh, that's a lot of antiquity sites. Holy shit, two, three. Oh, there's actually an antiquity site. No, never mind. There's antiquity site here, here. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Anyway, let's move this guy ahead of here. <laughs> the barbarians are like attacking in these coordinated assaults. It's very rare to see barbarians move this way. Alright, let's get rid of this uh, Gatling gun. Boom. Yeah, this attack isn't scary at all. I got 72 defense strength in the city. Walmart ain't taking this shit down. 
In fact, this kind of helped me, because it gives me a lot of gold and a lot of experience. Yeah, he's already kind of retreating, so... Alright, kill this guy. That's nice. 30 gold, 30 culture. I'm actually earning money from these barbarians. It's it's pretty satisfying. Okay, so we're losing 30 gold per turn, which is not good. Uh, um, maybe we should get some caravanses up in these cities, so maybe we can get some better trade routes from them. I think that might be a, might be a good idea. Anyway, let's continue on the railroad. And uh, let's keep shooting down Walmart's units. In fact, am I going to be ballsy and move in here? I don't think that's a particularly good idea. I think we are just going to fortify here. Uh, I'm going to send this caravan down to Bolgar and wait for two turns and see if I can get some good trade routes from that city with the caravans three up. Let's see. Ephraim has declared war on Micaiah, so shit's going down over here. Erika's completely wiped out, though. Poor thing. Poor thing. Okay, there should be a barbarian encampment here somewhere, considering all the fucking barbarians are coming from here. Alright, Walmart's back. He's back for more. Let's give him let's give him something to chew on. You ain't getting past here, Walmart. This is I am motherfucking Hector. You can uh, you can go suck a dick. Oh, we lost a spy again. Also we cannot steal any text from Sophia. Uh, no. No research agreements for me, Marth. Uh, I swear not to spy on you anymore. Fine, we'll spy on someone else. We'll, cry, we'll spy on Crimea. Everyone else just keeps killing our spies anyway, so... Hey, we can take this barbarian encampment with our scouts. Why not? Oh, I think we were building a uh, opera house in this city for our great musician. Sounds like a good idea. We do have to work on our culture ever so slightly. And Bolgar is not growing anymore, but I don't have the happiness for that shit anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Should we just grab an artillery? Actually, you know what? Maybe an archaeologist. Maybe we should start building some archaeologists down here. Anyway, let's see if we can get some good trade routes from here. Ah, right through Walmart. Not fantastic. Uh, let's just trade with the Twins Turf. Alright, Walmart actually has cavalry. So one of Walmart's unique bonuses is that anti-cavalry units are not good against this cavalry. Not that I give a shit about this, because I got artillery, but still. No, it, it really pains me to turn all, down all these research agreements. Alinsha has declared war on Ephraim. Okay. Does he even have any units left right now? He's all the way down here. Hmm. Alright, we should probably grab survival. Oh, Rifleman. Rip. Let's get the fuck away from those guys. We're gonna get slaughtered. Alright, Scholars and Residents, we really want to fund this one. We really need this one, because that means we're going to research our techs 20% faster. Anyway, this is great experience for artillery, but it looks like Walmart might be trying to attack Taras now. So, we need probably need to move this Rifleman over here to intercept this cannon. Alright, let's keep repairing the shit that the Barbarian stole. Valencia has de denounced Crimea. I'm not sure. Alm is not really doing too hard. He's the weakest leader in the game. He only scouts Sophia. It's only a mo only a matter of time before he gets conquered, to be fair. Alright, Manikadi Shrine. What do we want in the Manikadi Shrine? We got the arsenal, so the city is pretty much as protected as it ever could be. So I think that maybe a Gatling gun would be nice? Gatling guns are pretty nice, so... And when I eventually get machine guns, they are even better. Yeah, it looks like the cannon retreated, so I'm just going to fortify up these riflemen. I'm not sure how long Walmart's going to keep attacking me. I don't imagine he'll have the patience to to stick around for very long. Anyway, it's time for me to propose something. Uh, do I want to do the cultural heritage side? That's going to piss off too many people. I think natural heritage sites. That's going to give me plus 15 wonder or plus 15 culture for my wonders. That's good. More culture in the game is always good, because more culture yeah, evens out the tourism. So giving culture to all the leaders is good, because it's going to make it harder for, in this case, probably, I don't know, is Burkut still leading the tourism race? Uh, yes, for, Burkut is generating 46 tourism. So giving all the leaders more culture makes it harder for Regal uh, to win. So it's, it's always a good thing for me, regardless. All right. 10 gold with the long fort. I really fucking hope Robin doesn't... Uh, betray me right now, that would really fucking suck. 
because I need those trade routes right now. Anyway, let's uh, continue to systematically pick down uh, Walmart's infantry. Like so. Ooh, we got... Oh my god, I really want Neuschwestein. But am I going to sacrifice an engineer for fortune? You know, it's so good. What the hell is this? Great missionaries, really? You know, Neuschwestein is so good that I'm willing to almost sacrifice an engineer just to speed up the last three turns. Because if someone else gets Neuschwestein, I am going to cry. Because that wonder is going to be so crazy. It's going to give me gold, culture, and happiness. All the things that I need. Looks like Walhart won the international games. I thought Robin would win. Okay. I did not even... That is pretty shit, though. I mean, actually, I should have gotten Parade of Happiness. That was stupid of me. 360 hammers for 3 global happiness. That I really needed that. I should have paid more attention to the international games. But I... International games always hits at a part of the game, I feel. Where you got so much other shit going on. That you don't have time to worry about it. Anyway, let's set up the fire. Oh, we can do this. A little bit risky, but I, I still think we should do it. Also, who can this guy fire on? Hey, there's an invisible unit over here. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Risk recruit Oswin. Really? I don't think Oswin's a thief. But, uh, okay, whatever you say. Okay, I think we can probably... Yeah, let's spy on Robin again, even though we promised not to. I need I need techs. I need my techs. So yeah, I think we should probably build some landmarks. Hey, he wants peace. Cool. I'm happy with that. I don't mind. You can keep getting your butt kicked by Robin, so have fun with that. Oh, three turns until we get Neuschwestein. I might... Oh, okay. That barbarian encampment got cleared out. Okay, I think we yeah we should definitely go on. Uh, do do we have any uh, do we have any cultural sites up here? We do not. Oh my god, I'm not sacrificing an engineer for one turn. That is not happening. But I might build a manufacturing on top of this aluminium mine. That will probably be nice. Oh, we almost lost our rifleman. Actually, you know what? Um, nah, I think we can move it back and it it won't die. But yeah, uh, Walmart is successfully routed. He is not going to do shit from this point on. So, do we want... The arsenal gives happiness. And it doesn't cost any maintenance, which is nice. Seven turns for one happiness. Not the best deal, but maybe a deal that I need to take. Because uh, of my really, really poor happiness. Actually, we're back to losing gold again. Minus 31 gold per turn. Yeah, tell the world of my sins, Demon King. Please, please tell me how awful I am. Alright, one turn left. Come on, I swear to God, if, if Neuschwestein gets built now, I am going to scream. So cover your ears. Cover your ears. You know what? I should really see if I can sell my iron to someone. I really should be more adamant than that. So, let's see. Mikaya is friendly. Does she want iron? No. Does she want horses? Nope. Does she want aluminium? Yes, she does. It's not like I need my aluminium right now. The duo is guarded, so he's not gonna talk to me. Roy is neutral? Oh, he wants to buy my iron. Okay, cool. It's better than anything else I can get for it. Robin is friendly. She might be faking it, though. <laughs> Robin is uh, Robin is pretty good at faking shit. Um, she's very good at faking, actually. Can we sell this for flood gold? Hmm, she wants horses and coal. I can I can do this deal with her. I'm fine with this deal. Yeah, eight, yeah 180 gold. It's gold I normally wouldn't have, so I'm happy with that. Uh, okay, how about Louise? She's friendly. She might also be faking it, though. She doesn't want anything with me. Uh, anything to do with me. Ephraim does not want iron. Alinsha, do you want iron? She does not want iron either. How about Berkut? He's guarded. He's not going to talk to me. And Alm is neutral, but he doesn't have any money. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> no money? No money for poor little Alm. Yeah, Walmart's forces are in full retreat. His conquest failed miserably. Poor guy. He tried. 
All right, we will get the noise Stein. Please let us get the noise Stein. Don't snag it away from me on, one, on turn one, please. Please don't do this. Uh, come on. Oh, he wants peace. That's good. I'm happy with this. It looks like we are going... Yes! Oh, 10 happiness immediately fixed our gold issues. This is fucking amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And now we will also get... Plus two happiness for every barracks, armory, and military academy. Boom! 16 happiness right away. Our happiness is now fixed. Thank God. Um, so now, finally, finally, we're happy again. We can make our cities grow. They really need to grow right now. We can finally annex Taras. Boom. Now we can make Taras grow. And we can make all of our cities grow again. That felt really fucking good. Anyway, let's get combustion so we can get increased land trade routes. We also discovered oil. That's amazing. We want to go and build a uh, oil well immediately. Man, I'm happy about that. Okay, so now let's go back to focusing on the war against Robin. Hopefully no more people will declare war on us right now. Of course, I know that people are going to declare war on us, but still... Okay, we can also get this artifact right now. That's good. So, man, this is a big boost of happiness that we really, really needed. We're even making money again, which is really nice to see. But yeah, here comes the denunciation, so that means that war is probably coming pretty soon. But man, 13 happiness. We haven't had this much happiness since, like, the early game. Feels really good. 14 gold to trade with Leon, that also feels really good. 22 gold per turn, man! Man, that feels good. Okay, let's uh, let's get these... We need a lot of artillery in the war against Robin. A lot of artillery, probably like 7 or 8 units of artillery. We need more infantry, we need great war infantry. Hey, do you want iron? Do you want aluminium? No, she just wants an embassy. She just wants to say she's sorry for denouncing us. So we can attack from the from the the we can attack from the east and from the north. In fact, I think I'm gonna move these guys over to the border. I'm gonna keep this artillery inside the city to level it up because high level artillery is so much more valuable. So let's uh, trade with Hoshido. I, we we should we should phase out the trading with Robin as much as we can. So we do not want to trade with Robin at all. There we go. So we can, yeah, we can have a small force that attacks Sa Sabul, and we could also attack Taisal at the same time. It's a lot of forest here, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, because we got artillery, and artillery fires over forests. All right, let's create a landmark improvement and lock this tile. Landmarks are great for culture. So we definitely probably want to build more archaeologists so we can get even more culture. We should, if we build some museums, we could also get some artifacts going, but we're not particularly bothered about tourism. We just want culture, so. Alright, we also, instead of combustion, maybe we should just go for, we could rush plastics, actually. But we also need aircraft. If we want to, if we want to deal with Robin, we need aircraft. Because Robin might have aircraft of her own. Alright, let's keep trade. let's trade with Fort Jinja and, and Ryoma. And we're working on this road down here. We can also probably work on a road that goes this way. So we got coverage from both sides. There we go. Let's keep that general down here. We have way too many generals. So I think maybe building a citadel here or something would be nice. We could also build a citadel right here. Ah, oh, Luis, what is your problem? What have I done wrong? I have done nothing wrong. Come on. Alright, I have the money to say yes to this right now, but I, I can't say yes to another one. Alright, do we want to write a political treasure right here, or do we want to get a great work? Political treasure gives us 300 culture instantly. I think that might be more valuable right now. It's gonna speed up our policy gains by quite a lot. Okay, let's keep making... Yeah, now we're not producing as much in the city anymore, so we're not building units as quickly. But we are growing it, which is also nice. Let us get a rifleman here. Uh, we also got a Gatling gun, but we can move to the front lines. We also sh we sh probably should leave a rifleman in Bulgar, though. Although this guy has March, which makes him very valuable. We probably want to keep this guy back here instead. There we go. We still got the... Oh, we didn't build the manufacturer. Are you fucking kidding me? There we go. 
I don't know why we didn't do that. That was kind of awkward. But yeah, Cast Lost is growing really fast. My, we have a <laughs> we're already like burned through my happiness already. I'm down to five because I'm growing my city so fast right now. So I might have to set my cities over to production focus again soon. Because uh, yeah, I thought thought I'd. Uh, <laughs> seems like, how much how much happiness am I getting? Twenty one from public opinion. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I need I need great war infantry if I'm gonna go up against Robin though. You know what? I'm actually gonna keep this uh, Gatling gun here. Same with this right. No, I'm gonna keep this rifleman. No, I'm gonna keep this rifleman down here. Because I need to keep some units back. I can't just go all in, because then I'm gonna get a fucked in the ass and shit's gonna hit the fan. Alright, but we need a lot more riflemen. We can't just build artillery, we also need meat shields. Uh, so let's get some riflemen up immediately. We can also build hospitals. That would actually be pretty sweet. That would really help us get the food we need. Yeah, this was the rifleman I was gonna send back. Oop, looks like our scout's gonna die if we don't move it away. Yeah, you can stay here on alert. Same thing with the scantling gun. Oh, look, looky here. Barbarians. Great war infantry barbarians. One of my favorite things in Civilization is when I find barbarian XCOM squads. I always think that's hilarious. Because that's like Exalt from XCOM 1. Oh, you have uranium. Okay. <laughs> New King Alinsha confirmed. So let's see what's going on over here. Looks like Roy has not taken back his capital. Is Louise getting conquered? No, she's not. But but Berkut is kind of like... He's causing a lot of havoc down here. It seems like Berkut's going to clash with Pent eventually. Alright. We got artillery with March. That's great. March is perhaps a less ideal uh, upgrade for the artillery. Since your artillery aren't really supposed to be taking damage anyway. But... There are cases where your artillery ends up taking damage anyway, regardless of what you do. There we go. I think we've got the railroads connected right now, so that's good. That's a massive production boost to our cities. We also got tree holes, so we can build tree triplanes. Does Robin have aircraft? I don't see any aircraft over her cities yet, but it, there's, it's never a bad idea to have, uh, to have triplanes anyway. Alright, there we go. We got another artillery unit. Let's grab volley on that bad boy. So, we are keeping on the building of artillery. Maybe we should swap over to some riflemen eventually. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. We want, like, three riflemen. We lost another fucking spy. I swear to god, it's fucking impossible to get anything done with these spies. They just keep, keep getting murdered. It's because I only got rank 1 spies, and they probably got rank 3 counter spies. I think there's like a 50% chance of killing them or something. It's pretty crazy. Uh, anyway, let's go over here and start working on our other offensive road. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't, little barbarian. You, you go fuck off. Hey, look. It's a Valencian cannon. Oh, I'm still in this game. Do we really want to build an arsenal here 15 turns? I think it might be better to build a courthouse, yeah? I mean, an arsenal is great to have and all, but I think there are other buildings that will help us more, such as a factory. Or a, a courthouse probably be better, I think. But let's grow the... Actually, no, we need to, we need to set production focus to our cities again, because... Uh, yeah, uh, we are... Oh, there's some of them who are like one turn away from growing, though. Let's grow this one more turn. Castlostia is not growing at all right now. Hmm. Okay, let's keep killing these barbarians. Boom, boom, they go. Dead goes to barbarians, and they are gone. All right, let's work on our offensive road over here. Very offensive. Very triggered. Hey, he has silver. I need silver. Maybe he wants to... Uh, he, I don't think he wants to give me my silver regardless of what I do now. But he still wants my embassy, so that's a start, I guess. But yeah, I need to stop growing my cities right now. I, I grew them pretty big, though. They're, they're a lot better now than they used to be, so that's good. They have a lot of production, so they'll, they'll be much better at what they do. But I can't really go that tall when I go liberty. Tall, tall and wide, like, that's two different terms you often hear mentioned in Civilization. Um, 
Tall means your cities are, you got few cities, but they are very high level. Uh, wide is low level cities, but they cover a lot of the map. So you can go wide or tall, depending on what play style you want to go. I'm probably going to have to go more wide than tall in this game, because I don't really have the happiness to sustain massive cities. But I do need a lot more military. So this city has will grow in one turn. I'll let it grow, and then I'll set the city over to production focus. There's a barbarian encampment over here, but I think Alm is taking care of that. But yeah, we are edging closer to the war against uh, Robin, and uh, it's going to be a really tough war. It's going to be a really tough war, but it's going to be a fun war, I think. Hopefully we can win it and take Illistal. It's going to be really hard to take Illistal without ships, though. I mean, artillery is good. Actually, what we could do is we could build bombers, and we could target the... We could target the ships with bombers. That might be useful. I think I might just build bombers to target the ships and I'll go like bonus versus naval units with bombers. That can actually be really good if you can do it. You know what? I think we'll do that. We'll build bombers to take out the ships. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that will have to wait until the next part. Uh, also, I just noticed that fucking Ryoma, of course, as always, is closing in on my border, so I'll send this unit up here to scare him off. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, give this episode a like and a comment. I think a war against Robin might happen in the next part, so do stay tuned for that. As always, my name is Finn Manx, and I shall see you guys next time. Ho-ho!